Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can upload multiple data sets and also access multiple data sets for free on a website to practice your SQL queries. So with that in mind, let's head over to my browser. So all you need to do is head over to data.world. I've got the link up here, but I've also got it in the description. And then once you get to the site, this is the screen you'll see. All you need to do is go over to sign in. And then in here, you can either choose to use one of your social media accounts to log in. I use Google in this case, or you can set yourself up with join now. And then all you need to do is just put in your email, your full name, pick a username, and then put in your password when it also gives you the option here. But like I said, all I do is use Google. So I'm just gonna click on that and log in. So once you're logged in, you'll notice that I've got all my data sets that I've created in the past for if you've been following any of my previous videos, you'll notice this is normally the site you'll go to for any of the links where I've been keeping all my coding, my Power BI files, and any of the data sets. But there's no pay promotion here. This is just purely a site that I've just enjoyed using and found it very simple and easy. And then also showing you how to really utilize playing around with different data sets really quickly and easily and practicing your SQL skills. So the first thing you want to do is if you go up to data and you'll then get the option to then look at your data sets. If you already have any, I have one, but I want to add a new one. So all you need to do is click on data set. And then once you're in here, your data sets, as you see, that's my previous ones that I've updated in the past. And then if you click on new, so then once you get to this screen, all you need to do is then click on create a new data set. And then once that comes up, it gives you the option. I've already used up my free ones here and you can get more private ones, but as this is probably, you're going to be using a data set that you've just found online. And you just want to practice on. It doesn't matter what it is. Then you can then make public in the community, which means it's available for anyone to see. So all I'm gonna do is load in a FIFA data set that I managed to get my hands on from Kaggle to show as this example. So if I just type in what I wanna call my data set, so let's call it FIFA data set, like that one there. There we go. And then all you need to do is once whatever name you're given your data set is just click create data set. And then it will give you this whole page where you can start adding in files. And in this case, you can literally just drag and drop a file. So all I'm going to do is pick up this Excel file here, which is just a normal Excel file, not a CSV. And then I can just drop that in. And the reason being that I'm using this one in particular is because it has multiple tabs. So you can see how you can work your way through the different tabs and then how to pull the data with the different tabs. So all you need to do is just wait for the data set to load in. As this is a large one, it does take a little while. And then once it's loaded up, then you need to wait for it to actually fully install. So for now, all I'm going to do is go up to explore this data set. And then you can see your data set is loading in. So for now, I'm just going to speed up this loading so we can crack on and do some SQL querying. So now that's loading up, all we need to do is click on where it actually has the table name. And then as I mentioned, it pulls through all the different tabs of the data set. So if you scroll along, you can see all the columns that have been pulled through. So you can see which ones you would like to pull in. You also down here, get all the information about the different table columns. So you can hover over and then get some insight into what type of data it is and also a breakdown. So if we go down to say league name, it tells you the most common in this case, English league championship and the next most common English premier league. But for what I want, I'm going to go for the latest one, which is FIFA underscore 21. And then in here, we'll be able to see the most recent data in FIFA in this particular data set. And then once you sign and kind of got an idea of how your data set looks, all you need to do to start doing a SQL query is go up here and click query. And then this will give you a very simple line to give you all the tables from the first tab. And we want to go for the FIFA data set that is 21. And then I want to just look at for now the top 10 lines from there, just so we can check that everything's pulling through. And we got the data pulling through there. And if we just clean this up a little bit, just to put it in an order so we can see it more clearly. And what I want to do now is now get the top 10 clubs 
with their average overall rating of all their players. So if we look at what the club name is, and when you start typing in, it will give you the tab name at the beginning and then the name. So ensure you select the right one. And then what we need is the league name. And now we've got that. Now we want to see what the average is of the overall. Like so. And then we want to call that average overall. And then for count, we're just going to just count the overall IDs. So if we type in ID and there we go, we get the ID. And so now what we need to do is then group by. So if we go group by club name and league name. And then we want to order those by. So order by average overall. And make that descending. And then what we can see here is Bayern Munich are the top club with overall players of 22 of them overall of 81. Now, as we have quite a few offsets on the decimal places here, it'd be good just to roll these up so it can just be one number. So I'm just going to put on the average around. And then run that again. And now we can see the top two clubs are Bayern Munich, Barcelona. And then after that, we've got Liverpool, Real Madrid, Chelsea, Inter, Manchester United, Man City, Tottenham Hotspur and Atletico Madrid. And then if we count up and just have a quick overview of like how many of these particular leagues are in this top part. Well, we know Inter's in Italy. And so it looks like there's five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, English Premier League. So 50% of the top 10 are actually in the English Premier League. Now, Bayern Munich are at the top with 81 and the only team that averages out 81. But then they've got a lot less players. So it's probably the additional players that are bringing that down. What would be interesting to know is what does it look like if we apply it to the league name to see what's the overall top 10 leagues? So all we'd need to do is just remove that particular one club name. So we'll get to see the top club in that particular league and then the top 10 leagues in the overall. And then if we run that query, we can now see the top league is the Spanish league, the Liga, and then we've got the English Premier League joint top only where we've rolled it up. But actually it shows the Liga is actually higher. And then the top club is, is Barcelona, Manchester City for the English Premier League. And then it shows that actually the Ukrainian Premier League is higher than the Bundesliga for Germany. And then we can see the Brazilian League. And then we've got the Czech Republic. And then we've got Serie A for Italy and then the Russian Premier League. And then you've got the French League and then you've got the Croatian League. So this is just a good example of like how quickly and easily it was for me just to grab an Excel file, pull it into this site and just start practicing your SQL code. And you can do joins, you can do all other stuff. I just tried to keep this one just a quick, simple overview to sort of show you what you can actually do so you can just practice. And like I said, this is using my SQL so just be aware of any like parts where it's slightly different to any other SQL that you might know or be using. The main one that comes to mind when just using this was because it made it limit instead of top that you would normally use with SQL Server. And as this site actually has loads of data sets as well, even if you didn't want to set up your own data into the site and you just wanted to go straight in, you can do that as well. All you would have to do is log in. And then once you're back to this page again, up here, you can just do a search for a data set. So I'm just going to just type in job. 
And then in here, you, what you want to do is kind of get an idea of what you want. So you know you want a data set. So we could go here and click on data set. So it minimizes the information that's there. And then you can go for tags or who the owners are. In this case, I'm going to go for, let's go for job board data. And then once that's loaded up, we can have a look to see what there is. So if we click on resources, we then want to find one that has a table to use. And that one's got a table to use. And is there any more along here? Nope. So let's just go with that one for now. And then once you're in here, you can see the tables there. And then all you have to do is go view. And then you can see the table and brings you back to what we were seeing before. And again, we can just do query. And then if we just limit that to just the top 10 again and just run that query, we can see the data. And then we can see there's different locations. And then the salary offered, the type of job roles. So I'm thinking maybe we should have a little look at what the top job types are. So we can see how many permanent roles there are in all the different locations. So now we've got that up. Let's type in location. And then let's go for job type. Oh, get it right, underscore type. And then let's put in account. We've got category as well. So you can probably see the different categories. So yeah, let's put account in. And let's just use category just for now. And then if we do group by, Uh, location and job type. And then if we just run that query, we can see how many there are. And then we want to order these. So I could do order by, but you can actually just go here and go descending. So we can see location Europe, which is very vague. <laughs> and then we've got Paris and then Europe again. But again, that's under the temp and perm. So technically, we just want to look at cities. There is Germany in there as well. But we've got Portugal thing there. So London, we can see contract interim. The majority of the permanent roles seem to be in Paris and Germany. But the highest amount seems to be contract and interim based on the amount that's there, and especially because of Europe's taken up that big amount of information. So it tells me it's probably not very useful using this particular field because Europe isn't really broken out. So then you can do a bit more of a deep dive to find out a bit more information and find a way of how that can be broken out, if possible, if there is any more data there. So now you've seen how you can like easily just play around with just some in this case, I've just done some simple SQL queries, but you can play around and just do more complex ones if you need to. It can do it. So thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you still want to carry on your analytical journey, check out these videos over here. And as always, until next time.